Of course, we all fondly remember the year 2004, when our national team qualified for the European Championship in Portugal. Those were simply wonderful days, but it's part of history now. We had a good team and good players back then, many of whom played for English clubs and leading clubs elsewhere in Europe. These times might come back at some point, I think, and that's why we keep working, in the hope of fulfilling that. Eight years have passed since Latvia became the first Baltic nation to represent the region at a major international tournament. For General Secretary Yanis Mazekis, the challenge has been using that as a launch pad for continued improvement. The game at youth level has received plenty of attention, particularly with the development and expansion of the National Youth Training Centre at Steitzela. Yanis Bakmanis oversees the project. The biggest positive difference is that the Latvian Football Federation's coaches and staff now have their own home base, where they're their own bosses. At long last, there's a place of our own, and we needn't hop around from this month here in Jelgava, next month away in Dobele. We now have a definite and specific home in Latvia. This sense of ownership is the first and foremost thing. The centre provides a home for young players from across the country who train, study and board at the facility. One of the biggest contributions of this programme to Latvian sports, in my view, is that we've finally begun very purposefully focusing on youths, not just in the bigger cities, but also the more remote areas. Here I don't mean Daugavpil, Laipea and Ventspil. I mean the small towns, like Masalats, Limbaj, Ruina. Youths from these places see the opportunity to join regional teams and, from there, start aspiring for places in the national team of their respective age groups. That, no doubt, is one of the key prerequisites for the overall progress of Latvian football. And it's a philosophy that's echoed in neighbouring Lithuania. For five years, Raimondas Statkovikius has overseen the creation of a well-equipped technical centre in Kaunas. Since founding this technical centre, it has become a hub for training, methodology and science, somewhere everyone can come. All coaches can come here to improve themselves and bring this information back to their clubs to apply it in the training process. We definitely see that using these programmes in their home environment is increasing the overall level of football in Lithuania. Statka Vikius embarked upon a trip across Europe in order to understand the best methods to help develop talented young players. The implementation of his findings in Kaunas clearly shows the influence of national centres around the continent as well as youth academy setups across the professional game. The aim of our academy isn't training teams, but preparing individual players, increasing their individual mastery. That's why all training is concentrated on the individual player, not on team playing. It is lovely to observe a player who upon joining has a difficult time manipulating the ball. But after a while, after completing a programme, he then feels great with the ball. But the development in the Baltics goes beyond just youth level. In the Lithuanian capital Vilnius, funds have been used to help renovate the national stadium itself and to build modern headquarters for the association. Andreas Pasavikius is project manager. We took over the stadium and reconstructed it according to our needs. Lithuania actually hadn't had a single UEFA Category 3 stadium, and the team didn't have a true home stadium. Before every game, there would be various problems with the pitch or the general infrastructure. And this stadium was reconstructed specifically to meet the international requirements of UEFA's Category 3. Edvinas Aimontas is the General Secretary of the Lithuanian Football Federation. The most important thing, and our desire, is to have football clubs growing stronger in Lithuania, becoming part of the community, 
having connections with their local communities. Automatically, that would contribute significantly to making football more popular, both at grassroots level and a professional level. The biennial Baltic Cup currently lies in the offices of the Latvian Football Federation. All concerned hope it's not the only silverware that the region's nations will be competing for in the future. <laughs>